It's cold out here, man. I'm up at my uh, my dad's. I'm going fishing with my brother-in-law. I'm going to show you all my old boat. There it is. I haven't had it on video yet. But my brother-in-law got this after I had it. We're getting ready to go fishing today. So I might do a little videoing before we get there. But you can see there's hills and such up here. It's not flat. We are in a different place. But there it is. The old battleship. Fished many, many tournaments and hours and days on this boat. And that that is ice in that swimming pool back there. And here comes Gerald. I'm with my brother-in-law, Gerald, or as, as we call him, St. Gerald. Because he's married to my sister, Gerald. Don't say that no more. I'll, I'll, I'll handle this part, and you can uh, you can come in later. But anyway, we call <laughs> he's he's my brother-in-law. That means he's married to my sister. For y'all, you know, just to, some people they get confused about stuff. Gerald's got this look on his face. <laughs> They're from Alabama. <laughs> he's, my, he's my cousin. <laughs> he's my cousin's brother-in-law. This is my first cousin, sister's husband. Yeah, <laughs> but uh. Actually, he's just my sister's husband. So that was way more complicated than it needed to be. But I, I don't know. I just feel like I gotta explain things. But uh, yeah, I was right. Hey, Gerald, I was riding over here today, and I was. Everybody was going like 60 miles an hour on all these roads. They're all crooked. There's not a straight, flat. You know, I've, I've you know, I've been down there in South Georgia for a year and a half. I'm, I'm acclimatized, and now I'm like. I forgot how fast everybody everybody gets on the interstate up here and they drive like 60 but they get on these roads back here and they drive 70 <laughs> and it has new pavement yeah it's got new pavement so it's nice and slick the holes don't keep you in the road like they used to that's right but uh yeah i forgot about that and i'm gonna tell you what everybody north of florida needs to be out of school right now. They shouldn't even be going. It is so cold. <laughs> there was ice in the pool, concrete pond, everything. <laughs> the boat the, carpet's even frozen. The boat carpet is frozen. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boat. He, you were with me when I bought it. He was yep. with me when I bought it in 96, 5, 96, yep. something like that, when I bought that boat. Yeah, that sounds right, 96. He's got a better memory than I do. Oh, man. You know what? A lot of major purchases you were with me when I you were with me when I bought my truck. truck. Uh -huh. Yeah, the green truck. Yeah, to match this green boat. Yeah, it's kind of like he was married to me and my <laughs> sister. He had to help me. I make, will not answer that as far as what was best. He had to make me. <laughs> well, what? I will not say what was best. Edit that too. <laughs> okay. We, we were. Uh, he was with me when I made all my major purchasing decisions before I got married. Now Tammy helps me make them. Actually, I can make them on my own now. I've grown up a lot. <laughs> Tammy's made a man out of me. But anyway, uh, he's like he's going like a hundred. And it's <laughs> fifty. I'm going fifty two. It's <laughs> in a thirty five. <laughs> it's, it's like a pig trail. <laughs> <laughs> he's full of the boat going seventy five. But um, well, they know that cut everything in half when I say something, Gerald. So he said, when I said 100, Gerald said 52. See? So anyway, we're going to Lake Chickamauga. And uh, what's so funny is when I grew up, nobody, I mean, Lake Chickamauga was like dead. It was like the Dead Sea. Wasn't it? I mean, it, it was like you couldn't catch nothing. And, uh, and then somebody got the bright idea because it used to be really good back before, you know, then probably in the 70s, you know. Yeah, that's right. And then somebody got the bright idea to kill all the grass, and then all the fishing wasn't any good. And then somebody got the bright idea, let's get some grass back in here. Now, all of a sudden, everybody in the United States is coming to Lake Chickamauga. So we're going in the middle of the week to try to see if we can get out there because it is some crowded fishing up here. All right, now we're turning onto a goat trail. <laughs> we went off a pig trail, and now we're on a goat trail. It's a lot safer. <laughs> we're gonna stop and get us a biscuit here in a minute. And you know what? Up here, we can stop and get a biscuit anywhere. It's not like down there in South Georgia where you can't get a biscuit within 500 miles. And I mean, you know, I don't mean to insult the South Georgia people, but I don't know what it is with y'all and your biscuits. They eat croissants. No, they eat biscuits. They're just not any good. But I, 
I may have to edit that part out. <laughs> I have struggled getting a good biscuit down there in St. Mary. It's probably not that the people down there don't have good biscuits. It's probably just that the small town where I'm at, there just didn't happen to be a place where I can really get it. I don't know. That's a dead end right there. I need to stop. There's only one lady down there that's supposedly really good at cooking biscuits. Now, she's she's not, good. Yeah, She's not uh, commercialized no. on the selling of those. No, and she don't make them every morning. We just passed the school bus. Going, he's going from 70. <laughs> Kids hanging out the window. <laughs> the Y'all ever watch Fat Albert? That's what it looked like. <laughs> on the Fat Albert show, when he come and they were all sticking their arms out. And going, <laughs> that's why that school bus looked right there. Y'all can see that. Got some mountains up here now. Lookout Mountain? Yep, Lookout Mountain right there. Coal mine, moonshine, there ain't a coal mine within 100 miles here. <laughs> Not anymore. Moving on down the line. There probably is some moonshine. There's moonshine. There's here. Right here. Right here. Right. Yeah, probably right there. There, there, were, there were coal mines up in uh, Durham. Yeah. yeah. Not too far from here. Anyway, you know, the red land wasn't born here. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty modern. But Elizabeth Taylor came here for her honeymoon at Covenant College. Elizabeth, Elizabeth not Covenant, Covenant College. Was Taylor. Remember Elizabeth Taylor, the famous you don't, star? You don't get no bigger than that. Yeah. God, it was not a Covenant College. One was right up there. Was like, oh, right over there. Yeah, it was a huge hotel or something like that. E.T. I don't know. <laughs> Anybody else famous been here, Daryl? Al Capone. Al Capone he used to play uh, cards over in uh, Lookout Valley. Yeah, right over there. Just right there on the other side of the. Yeah. Now, all the great generals spent some time right through here. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people, a lot of dead people around here, a lot. Yeah. From those battles, right, battle right there, battle back behind us, big battles. Not the little ones, not skirmishes. No. For real. Big, for real war. Tens of thousands. <clears throat> Toss them off. And then, uh, who was that guy that died down here in the in, in the that drowned? That was the the seance here. See your oh, uh, doc uh, yeah. something another local local yeah. legend. <laughs> yeah, he could. He was a fortune teller and all that what stuff. What was his name? Uh, your daddy could pop that off. He was, He yeah. drowned down here across the, down yeah. this road. I think. Yeah, I think so. And then uh, and then uh, Doctor Shock. And Tommy Jett, the famous radio, Tommy Jett has his own road right here. In has front of us. his own road right there. Well, I don't uh, know if it's a road. It's, it's more than I'm probably going to get, but it is about yeah. 50 feet of asphalt. Well, he's got a he's sign. Said, he he's does got have his a sign name. and about 50 yeah. feet of asphalt. And then, um, yeah, Doctor Shot, Dingbat. Yeah, if anybody's local. Yeah, Dwight Yoakam has never been here. Uh, <laughs> Johnny Cash. Yes. Woo! He's Johnny been. Cash been in Walker County Jail. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Found himself in Nicky Jack Cave. That's when he, he had, did. A, had a spiritual moment in Nicky yep. Jack Cave. Johnny Cash, Nicky Jack Cave. He said at that point, I'm yeah. going to put an area. He decided that he was going to wear black for the oppressed. Yeah. And y'all seen Rick, y'all y'all seen like the Talladega Nights, you know that scene where Ricky Bobby's riding down the He's like, what was that? Things go past him on the on the <laughs> racetrack. <laughs> yeah. What was that? What was that? And they're like, that's the other drivers, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Because he's going so slow. That's the way I feel on these roads. <laughs> Stuff goes past me. I go, what was that? It's the other cars, Chris. <laughs> you know what's bad, though, is I used to drive faster than any of these. <laughs> 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 but I, when I had that Malibu, I would, I'd be going 150. Now, that car wouldn't go 150 if you rolled it off the side of the mountain. <laughs> But I was going fast, I promise you. I was as fast as any of these people. You're adulting, man. You're just starting to adult. I know. I'm just getting, getting old. Big purchases. Yeah, buying things. Precaution. Yeah. Yeah, this morning. I really did. I was like driving. I was like, these people are all over my bumper. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going 45 and speed limit's 45. I lost my mind. Y'all know Richard Jean lives up somewhere. Uh, it's a pretty good place. He lives over in Sand Mountain. But it's not too far from here. We're in no, Richard Jean not. territory now. Yeah. Yep. Less than an hour. I'm going to tell you that woman is mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister. She's mean. It's almost like she grew up with somebody that like just tortured her all the time. 
sounds like a brother. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. That's my fault. Everything that happens to Gerald, my sister, that's my fault. I, tra I trained her. She's been traumatized. I, I traumatized her the yeah. way that I acted. We are at Soddy Creek. I'm bundled up like a newborn baby. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, guys, this camera's gonna be put up for the run because we might go fast. What was that? That was the other boats, Chris. <laughs> we got a little perch. Look at that. Not gonna see that in St. Mary's. He's, that is a All gorgeous right, looking. Go. You get one? Gerald's got one. Oh, I lost it. What was it? Was it a it's perch? A it's a little bass. A little okay. bass. We, but I didn't know how to catch it. Right. <laughs> Gerald's finally got one. A bass. Pretty decent. <laughs> Not bad. He's got tattoo on his back. He's got, he's tatted up. Yep. There you go. A Ned rig. Yep. Do it again. Tat on that tail. Boy, he feels good. He's cold. Mm -hmm. He's eating it. He smells breath. He's got, he's Can you smell what he was eating? Yeah. yeah. It's, the, it's the end of the day. We probably will not have a fishing video. <laughs> I did catch four or five, maybe, perch, which we have never. Have you ever caught a perch here? No. Never. I caught four. I was on a perch, hot perch bite, but they're little old bitty fish, so I'm not really gonna make a video of that so i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> our pre-fishing trip post-fishing trip uh fun on nickel's retirement empire let's get out of here man can you see yep we're good can't see good here either yeah. you know when i moved down to st mary's i couldn't figure out why there were wrecks there's wrecks all the time we were like what are these people oh, wow. you can see every direction yeah. every road is straight no hills. No hills. They were just having wrecks left and right. I don't know what they were doing. I mean, I'd be wrecking. Those people would be wrecking every five minutes up here. <laughs> look, there's a free gas can. Oh, yeah, look at that. You need a gas can? It is. All right.